It's a three-acre parcel where you can now buy fish tacos and shrimp, as well as bikinis and other beach wear. The developer hopes to transform this area, adding much-needed restrooms and a more welcoming environment. This project is directly across from a marine conservation district, and a community watchdog group is concerned about the impact a development like this might have. The community is very protective out here. They want to know what's going on. Last night at a meeting with the Sunset Community Association, members vented their frustration about what they see is a piecemeal approach to the plan. So the question is, what about traffic? What about waste streams? How much water is this project going to use? The lawmaker who represents the area is asking the city to rescind the permits it issued because the project has caught the community by surprise. It looks like, for all intents and purposes, they've segmented the project into three smaller parts to avoid an environmental assessment and traffic uh, study. And that obviously is a concern because the marine sanctuary across the street is, is a high priority for protection. The developer is installing the first of three wastewater systems to protect the environment. It's a first in an area mostly served by cesspools. They want to be very low impact and they want to make sure everything works in increments. Instead of just jumping in and you know building a $10 million mall, which they are not going to do. They don't want to do that. They just want to build you know, a few small structures. Five structures to be exact, each about 600 square feet. The plan is for some retail space, but with an area for food trucks and possibly an urgent care facility. I'm not taking a position or I'm not as concerned about what is actually proposed for the property. What I'm very concerned about is the process at which they're uh, going forward with this. There's been no real community uh, discussion about what they're proposing and the way they've gone about the permitting is, is uh, very concerning to me. The city's planning department says it may take another look at the project. The neighborhood board takes up the issue next week. The developer says he'll be there to answer questions. Catherine Cruz, KITV Island News.